about 98% of all telecommunications travels along a fiber optic cable in some way. So anytime we do something on the internet, our phones, we're using fiber optic cables. To connect internationally, the best, most efficient way of doing that is through undersea fiber optic cables, cables laid on the ocean floor. Actually, this region of California is one of the least served regions in the state with fiber optic cable. So eventually the subsea cable will have connectors that will go all the way across to Redding and beyond. They built us a super highway and now all we need to do is build a few off ramps. So what we've developed, done here is developed infrastructure to allow international um, undersea fiber optic cables to land in Eureka. The first cable that will be coming in will go all the way to Singapore by way of Guam. So in order to bring the cable ashore um, here in California, we do it through a directional bore pipe or a steel pipe that's installed by directional bore method. So the bore pipe is quite long, 5,400 feet. That has certain very difficult technical challenges. California uh, has a very stringent environmental quality standard, so uh, there are a lot of hoops to jump through there. The operation, how we conduct the bores are very regulated. The benefit of the HDD operations, I think, and uh, we can protect the environment uh, by using the uh, HDD. So uh, HDD company is doing a great job to make it successful. So the HDD company is a perfect choice for all of those elements. They're very familiar with California work. They're very familiar with working under tight regulations, tight work sites. They're also very technically competent and able to put in a pipe that is this long. I have a great crew and we've all worked together a lot of years. Everyone knows exactly what to do and how to do it safely. So the machine we use to install the, the conduit is actually a machine the HDD company built and it's capable of uh, 900,000 pounds of push or pull and 50,000 pounds of rotary. So currently there's divers in the water now installing a tide flex flange on the end of our tool that we pushed out yesterday for them on bore three. Commercial divers offshore, they have the most difficult task. They're dealing with zero visibility, water depths up to 50 feet deep, uh, limited bottom time for the Navy dive tables. And they're getting pushed around under there by the, the swell and the currents. The weather is definitely a major factor and winter's coming in. So you really have to make sure you have people that know what they're doing. So when it came time to consider this work, I really didn't look anywhere other than to the HDD company. This is an awesome day. It's cable landing day. Once the cable end is in a manhole and secured, then the cable ship will be free to start working offshore. So she'll, she'll move offshore a little bit, lower the plow. So there's a plow that will actually plow the cable into the ocean floor and it'll proceed offshore off to the end of the continental shelf and then it will continue on towards Guam. The HDD company, they get the right materials, the processes they use make them the best.